This is the video room at the Warrington Walls. We're back with uh, Brett Hodgson and Richie Myler to uh, field a few of the fans' questions as well that have come into the Tetley's uh, Twitter and Facebook pages and uh, talk, boys, about your season as well. Let's start with Super League, Brett. You must be really chuffed with the way the season's going in the, in the league. Uh, it took us a while to get going, there's no doubt about that. I think the way we're playing at the moment is, is with a bit of confidence and uh, you know, we know we've got the ability and the depth in the squad to do something this year. And, um, but. You know, six or eight weeks ago, we were pretty much paddling and, and not playing to our potential. But I think you know, we're confident going in you know, this week especially. When it clicks at Warrington, Richie, you must feel as though there's no one in the league who can beat you. Yeah, we've got some quality players. Like, uh, that goes to the no doubt. I mean, the experience of Lee Breeze and uh, Hodjo here as well. I mean, once they start playing, I think Michael Monaghan's finally hit the straps and his fitness is up and he's playing really well the last couple of weeks. So, um, no, like I said, but we know we're under um, some great teams in the league. Wigan especially, they're flying and we'll just feel they're doing well as well this year. Still going great in the Tetley's Challenge Cup as well. Some images of your success in the competition adorn the walls of this video room as well, Brett. Just give us a feel mm. of what the competition means to you, both as a player and perhaps as a, a child uh, growing up supporting rugby league. The competition itself, it's great to play and it's got such a good feel about it. And um, you can just sense that everyone goes up another level, you know, supporters, um, you know, advertisement, players. We know that uh, the knockout competition, that part of it, it brings out the best, hopefully, in, in our squad. And, uh, we've had a bit of success in the last couple of years, and you know, I think we're definitely looking forward to it again this year. You've experienced highs and lows, haven't you, Rich, with the Challenge Cup? Warrington have had a real love affair with the competition. Uh, and of course, you have that disappointment when you were left out of the, the squad a few years ago when they played. Dropped. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, so mixed emotions, I suppose. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I was fortunate last year to to play at Wembley, which was um, it's obviously always been a dream to play at Wembley. And uh, but yeah, like you said, 2010 wasn't a great year. Um, I think I'd have been fortunate, I'd been lucky if I'd have played anyway, because I mean we had such a quality team and players that had missed out the year before were playing. So I mean, no, like, like I say, but we've. We like that competition and we like playing in it. What's it like stepping out at Wembley? You've, you've done it a few times now, you've played in a grand final as well, but what's that special moment like when you walk out and the crowd just goes absolutely crazy, hopefully in the sunshine at Wembley? Yeah, it's brilliant. It's, uh, you know, I've been pretty fortunate to play some pretty good stadiums in my career. and uh, Wembley definitely tops them all. It's, it's got the aura about it where you just know that there have been some special players playing before you, you know, in whatever sport they might be. You must be a good shot to, to get back there again this year. I'd imagine you're a lot of people's favourites from those left in. Well, yeah, it's going to be a tough test though. We've got Huddersfield in the next round and they like say they're on form at the moment, second in the league and doing really well. So we're, um, there are no illusions of how hard it's going to be to get back there. We'd love, like I said, we'd love to be back there, but we've got a tough challenge. Well, we'd like to get the fans involved uh, with Tetley's mm. as well. Let me just throw you a few uh, questions. This. Uh, Richie, from Tom on Facebook, if, if you could pick any team to play against in a Challenge Cup final, if you could just pick whoever you want as an opposition on the day, who would it be? I think you'd like to see a Wigan, Wigan Warrington or a Wigan St Helens or something like that. Um, the two top, like the top teams of the past days are the ones with the big fan base and it makes it a great spectacle. Uh, Captain Courageous, uh, Ollie Walsh via Twitter, Brett, uh, you're known as. What's the bravest thing would you say you have ever done? Probably. You know, running back at some big men playing rugby league, it's, uh, I, I don't know, it's, it's one of those things you don't tend to um, think about how hard things are when you're playing, otherwise you, you definitely get found out and mm. you run a bit scared, so, um, you know, when it's all done and, and finished, I'll look back and, and see what that answer is. Uh, this from John via Facebook, who's the best opponent you have faced? For me, Andrew Johns would still epitomise everything that has been good in rugby league, you know, he did absolutely, he could do everything in the game, kicking, passing, defending was brilliant. Um, and he was just a special talent and to say that I've played with him and alongside and um, against him is a you know, huge honour. And Richie, who's, who's the, the best player you've played against? When I played for Salford, I played against uh, Adrian Marley and he's one of the toughest fellas who's ever run at me. And I, <laughs> like, I think I tried to move out which way, I think I let him run past the thing. But he's uh, always, and then I'm obviously fortunate to play with him, which is um, and the, the leader and the character that he is, he's, um, he's a great ex example. Richie, Brett, thanks very much for fielding our questions. You're welcome.